Hey friends, I'm so excited to show you the Anti-Planner by Danny Donovan. Uh, now I got an early copy and I'm really excited to kind of walk through it. So let's go ahead and tear in and so let's go. Just look at that cover. That is gorgeous with the nice, the gold foil there reflection. That is beautiful. Uh, so let's dive in. Let's take a look. The Anti-Planner, I can't believe I actually finished this. Right. First off, even though this isn't a traditional planner, one of the biggest problems with most planners is you open it up, you make some great plans, you shut it, and then you never look at it again. But because of the rings, you can open to where you want. You can leave that page open and leave it out on your desk so you're gonna be able to find it later. Let me start off by saying one thing, your worth is not measured in productivity. Did you read that? I feel like you may have skimmed over it kind of fast. I wanna make sure this really sinks in. Your worth is not measured in productivity. That being said, this book will hopefully help you to get stuff done because you want to, not because you're afraid you have to. You've got this, I believe in you, love Danny. How awesome is that? Danny is the best. Here, how to take care of the thing. Got a forward. Uh, does anybody really actually read these? I will. I promise I'll read it later, Danny. Anti-Planner 101, what this book is and isn't. It's not a planner. So there's a temptation to see anti-planner and think, oh, it's sort of a play on words, but it's actually a planner. It's not, there's no like planning your weeks in here. There's nothing like that. It's basically a giant book full of strategies for getting stuff done, things to help you when you're stuck. It's got all these beautiful tabs for how you're stuck. Maybe, yeah, just stuck right there. Maybe you're overwhelmed or unmotivated. Maybe you're feeling really disorganized, like maybe my desk situation. But the idea with this book is that it's sort of a resource to go to when you're kind of maybe feeling overwhelmed or stuck or you're procrastinating or whatever it is, you're like, I'm trying to get something done and it's not working. Let me pull out the anti-planner and that's gonna help me get stuff done. And I love love this right here. Think of the anti-planner as a procrastination fire extinguisher. Break glass in case of emergency book. Again, with these awesome illustrations, which I just love. Let's start with feeling stuck. When you're feeling stuck, you can jump straight to the tab and there's a bunch of strategies here. Let's check them out. So I'm not gonna detail every strategy, but it gives you sort of an, a starting point here like how are you feeling and this give you jump points within this section so like maybe you're feeling perfectionistic so page 70 let's jump ahead oh my gosh this book is so huge you're so it's so over 300 pages um this is amazing so we're gonna jump to 70 here perfectionistic uh i have unrealistic high expectations of myself I'm wasting time obsessively tinkering and it really sort of connects with what people with adhd are familiar with we're feeling those feelings and we're frustrated and we feel bad about it which is kind of that warning in the beginning warning you like don't feel bad about uh your productivity like our brains are designed different we work different oh i love this so you might also like and it lists other strategies that are sort of related but aren't the prime strategies we've got our five prime strategies here so speed run setting realistic expectations for yourself and look how detailed the strategies are it's so adhd friendly because it's all broken into bullets and little sections i want to feel i don't even know what this thing is but i want to figure it out to fill this this chart out and same again like look at all these like fun little things to fill out it like grabs that novelty like the book is just full of novelty that grabs our interest. Uh, I know I'm just like oozing compliments, but I just think it's such a great book for people with ADHD. It's so designed for our brains. And I think people are gonna really love it and really get a lot out of it. So this is a great one. I always have problems with my email where email builds up. So how many e emails can you answer in 30 minutes? This is a strategy I've done before because it's so hard to get stuff done. I just set a timer and I try to just get through as many as I can, get through as many as I can, because otherwise I just get so stuck where I'm looking at an email and I'm thinking, do I want to act on this later? Do I want to act on it now? If I reply now, maybe I don't have the right information. And it just like builds up and up and up. So doing these inbox sprints, I mean, you're not going to get rid of all of it probably in half an hour, but it's going to help you make a significant impact into that inbox that's built up. So what is it? A batching speed run for quickly moving through your emails. <laughs> You'll need a messy inbox. Done. You'll need a timer. So this is really simple. You're just sort of creating a grid that you can check off as you do the emails. The beauty of it is the simplicity because you are seeing something visual. It makes it novel. You're just checking off every time you do an email, just check it off the list and you're sort of getting on a roll that way. And she's even got uh, her comic here, the email like a boss for really quick tips on better language to use in emails.
Here's a great one. This is the idea parking lot. Capture your brilliance without losing your focus. She's got a great illustrated parking lot here where you can just sort of throw ideas like as you have them like, oh, I, would, I don't want to forget this. I want to remember this idea later. And so I need a place to quickly kind of capture it. And you can throw it like you can just have this sitting out on your desk while you're working on something else. And you can just write down your idea real quick. Jump to overwhelmed again it has a great intro to like like describing like what's what is the problem why are we feeling overwhelmed and what can we do about it here's a great page so about breaking down tasks i talk about this in my toxic productivity video here where people often give you this advice like break it down into all of its steps but it doesn't really work for us and we don't even really know how to approach it so this page has some great strategies for like what does that actually look like and how can i take that idea and make it work for me rather than just it being this blanket advice that's supposed to fix all my problems. For me, a lot of times what I do is I focus on just getting like those first few tasks figured out. And again, like these strategies are great. Like always make sure to start tasks with verbs. And over here, she's got like the breakdown of the not great way to define a project, the better way, and then the best way. Cause like not great is like instructions, example. Like what does that mean? There's no verb to tell me what the action is. So then she starts to break it down, like write instructions page. Oh, okay. So that's actually the action i need to write something for instructions and then there's some further subtasks there and then down here it's really broken out the write instructions page and then each subtask like develop rough content finalize content and then sort of breaking out the steps in here so for me a lot of times i get overwhelmed with breaking all this stuff out so i would probably start with just doing this top section like i'd maybe write out like finalize content get feedback but then i wouldn't do all these subtasks i would just write these out so that I can focus on those. And then I can kind of build momentum. And for me, that momentum helps me propel forward. But maybe for you, it really helps you to see that big picture. A lot of times it's hard to get started on something when you can't envision what that final product would be. So maybe breaking it out the way that Danny's shown here is the way that's gonna work for you. And that's kind of all the strategies in this book and in other books or videos or TikToks or whatever it is. The trick is to find the strategies that work for your brain. And some of them, like you may, I'm going to go through this book and I'm sure there will be some things where I'll just immediately know, like, this isn't going to work for me. Or maybe even better approach is this isn't working for me right now, but maybe I can come back to this and try this at another time when one of my other strategies kind of stops working. So much of what works for us is novelty, is introducing and trying out new things. And that's what I love about this book. So there's just so many different ideas that if you're struggling with something, you can kind of flip through it and be like, no, no, no. And then be like, oh, this sounds like, oh, rolling dice. That sounds like a fun way to help me figure out what my task is next. Um, oh, there's so much good stuff in here. And here's another page that's so great. So many of us with ADHD struggle with like people pleasing and it's really hard to say no to things. Like we just say yes to everything, uh, partly because we get excited by new opportunities, but also partly because we're afraid of disappointing people. We've Many of us have a long history of disappointing people, so we're like terrified of having that experience again. And so this is a great way to like, this is how I'm feeling like, ah, uh, sure I can come, but it's an event that I don't actually want to go to. And here's some alternate things I can say instead, like I appreciate you inviting me, but I won't be able to make it. I hope you all have an awesome time. And things like that, that help give you like a guide and almost like permission to say, hey, this is okay, I can say this instead of agreeing to something that I didn't want to do or I shouldn't do because my schedule's full or whatever the case may be. Love it. Let's get to unmotivated because I think this is one of the most common problems for people with ADHD. How are you feeling? And it gives you like some starting points waiting to feel like it all the time. I know there's something I want to do, but I don't really feel like it yet. It's just sort of like, am I gonna get to that? I don't know, maybe eventually, or I'm lacking the accountability, like there's no consequences if I keep procrastinating or disinterested, uninspired. Let's see what we've got in here. So right off the bat, again, it's got all, look at all these great strategies when I'm, I'm waiting to feel like it, it's not quite working. Like, well, boom, I've got like, what is this? Like 10 strategies right here. 11 goes up to 11, 11 strategies right here, just in this next section. And then also it's pointing to all these other strategies throughout the book that are also going to be helpful. Right off the bat, suit up card game, flip four and pick your poison. So you take a deck of cards, shuffle it up, flip four, draw four off the top and flip them over and then line those up with the page to figure out what sort of tasks you have in front of you. So let's do real quick so you can just sort of see it in example here. I'll shuffle up real quick. I'll just flip them so we got 
So right off the bat, right here, we've got queen of spades. So spades, we've got personal finance, delegation, paying a bill, organizing desktop, throw away junk mail. So that admin sort of stuff right here. And then we have the number, so it's a face. So that's 15 minutes. So I've got, I can spend 15 minutes to work on this one. I select one of the four. So one option is 15 minutes on an admin task. And I've got five, which is cleaning and five minutes. Eight of spades, also admin, and that would be 10 minutes. So I could choose this if I want to do admin, but maybe not as much. And then this one is the six of clubs contact. So maybe emailing or texting somebody back and that's six. So that's right in the 10 minute range. So for me, immediately I see these and I think of there's a really important admin task that I need to take care of having to do with my car. Uh, and I've been avoiding it for a while, but now I'm like, well, okay. I can that'll just take 10 minutes I can do that and then that will be what I get started with there's there's something about the novelty of the cards that is like oh you drew this card and that's the one I pick and now I'm gonna take on that challenge because it's sort of ahead of me there's get into the productive mood switch it up I'm like barely halfway through this right now and there's already treat yourself and so much more. I barely scratched the surface. Like I said earlier, there's over 300 pages in this thing and every page looks like the ones I showed you. I didn't like highlight the ones that are especially well drawn or really creative. They all look like that. It's full color all the way through. It is just a gorgeous uh, workbook that I think you're gonna wanna own. And I didn't even say it's got the nice elastic strap just to really complete the package and a little elastic loop so you can put a pen right on the side there. Go order this book. I think you are gonna love it. It's gonna be one of those things you turn back to over and over again as a resource. Whenever you're feeling stuck, whenever you're feeling overwhelmed or whatever, you know, all those things that come up in the life of having ADHD, you hit those roadblocks, you hit those stumbling points and you just feel stuck or lacking motivation. This is gonna be an amazing resource for you to get unstuck. And thanks again to Danny for letting me have this early copy. Go get it.